If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have noticed that each F1 car sometimes has red flashing lights at the back. In this video, we will understand what are these lights and how they work. Let's get started. The first thought that comes to mind when you see red lights in the back of a car is that the car is braking. In Formula One, this is not the case. The lights on the back of an F1 car come on at certain specific times when there may be a hazard. So their primary function is to make the car visible to increase safety. There are three scenarios in Formula One when the red lights flash. Energy saving. F1 cars use ERS or energy recovery system to harvest unused kinetic and thermal energy and convert it into extra power. You might have heard commentators and pundits use terms like harvesting energy. What this means is that the Formula One driver is planning to use the ERS system. While the energy store builds up, the lights at the back of an F1 car will flash red. As soon as a driver activates ERS, the lights in the back of the car go blank. In a dry race, you will notice that the lights are blinking in a section of the track where there are many turns. The reason is the driver is building up the energy store and he is planning to deploy it on the straight. On the straights, you will see that the lights are off, so he is using the ERS deployment. The idea behind using ERS in a straight line is to get maximum speed so that you are less likely to be overtaken. On the flip side, if you are a trailing car, ERS gives you the best chance to perform an overtake. Pit Lane Formula 1 drivers are required to follow a strict speed limit when in the pit lane, typically 60 km per hour or 80 km per hour. To meet the speed limit requirement, an F1 driver clicks the pit lane speed limiter button on his steering wheel when in the pit lane. When the speed limiter is activated, the rear lights turn on and start flashing to make the car more recognizable as the pit lane is a place where many things happen at the same time. As soon as the driver leaves the pit lane and deactivates the speed limiter, the lights turn off again. Rainy conditions. When it rains, visibility is considerably reduced, which together with the sheer amount of spray that F1 cars release, makes visibility practically nothing in many occasions. Therefore, in rainy conditions, the lights at the back blink so that drivers can get a better sense of where the other cars are. This is especially important for trailing cars due to the spray created by the cars in front. In 2019, two strips of red lights located at the tips of the rear wing were introduced to further improve visibility, especially in wet conditions. So currently, F1 cars have three rear lights. Now let's look at some interesting facts about the lights at the back of the car. On rare occasions, the lights at the back of an F1 car can turn green. Yes, you did hear that correctly. They can go green. To race in Formula 1, a driver needs an FIA Super License which is the qualification proving that he has the capability and experience to compete in Formula 1 on a professional level. Occasionally, there are situations where a driver meets all the qualifications to have a super license, but doesn't actually have the license yet. In these instances where drivers are technically qualified to compete in Formula 1, but officially don't have the certification to do so, they are allowed to race but must display a green light on their cars. Most recently, Alex Albon and Pietro Fittipaldi had to display the green lights because of this regulation. Hope this video helped you learn about the lights in the back of a Formula One car. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.